welcome to Yorkshire Man Models. This time I'm doing an update on my cordless airbrush that I bought about seven months ago, six, seven months ago, just to show you how it's going. Like I say, it's been about six, seven months and how it's working now, what I've found with it and another improvement I've made with it so that uh, I found it, it'll use other airbrushes. So, first off, battery still fantastic still going strong I haven't charged this up for ages well I say ages it's been last week or so since I last used it and look I don't know if you can see it's but it's showing four bars still across there oh they've all gone off there you go four bars I was charged lovely never had any problem with battery can I, I have noticed it can get a little bit warm sometimes when you're using it a lot it's not excessively where you would worry over it too much but if it does get a little bit too warm I suppose if you leave it for a few minutes to cool off it would be a lot better the airbrush cup and ah, that rubber there is rubbish that seal, that gasket I'm going to be honest with you it is absolutely rubbish collects paint, all the usual stuff I wish it didn't have that seal because you need that seal because if not cup falls straight off I wish it was more like say this this is a PS270 Pro Comboy I think it's called but it's just got metal seal it's, it's beveled a bit so that when you push it in it gets tight but that's an expensive airbrush that's hundreds and up, uh, hundreds I think it's 120 somewhere like 140 pound for that airbrush and that ain't got a compression that's just the airbrush but like I say, you have to live with that. I suppose you could buy some fresh rubbers if you want, but that one's still working, but it's not fantastic, I will be honest with you. That's the, one of the few tiny faults it's got. The airbrush itself is still fine. That gasket there is still absolutely fine. I've had to completely clean it out once, and that meant taking this section out, and there's a little ferrule inside. You unscrew that, pull it out, there's a little rubber washer, and it had got completely clogged with paint that much, I couldn't clean it and I had to take that out, clean the paint out, the little rubber tiny washer put it all back together, absolutely fine since only ever done that once and it was my fault I accidentally left the airbrush full of paint without realising it and it took me quite a while to clean it out but it's all cleaned out and it's completely working fine still so that's that airbrush now my little tip for you is this is a, an airbrush I got with a kit, I'll just show you, that's the kit, you got two airbrushes, they come from Everything Airbrush, you got two, there's the other one, everything falls out of these, they're rubbish, but that's the other one, this will not do what I'm going to show you that one, I've tried it, won't work, but this one does, right, this is a 0 0.2, it's got an air Thing is so you can control how much air is coming through or not there, which is quite handy, especially with this because it's a constant one pressure airbrush. But if I found if it that comes already connected, I'm not screwing it right up because I've got some glue in there that I'm going to show you. That comes connected like that. I found if you take that off, so I put that to the side, you have got the same just about connector there. And what I found was. When I put this first put this on it, it didn't work. You pressed it down and it didn't start this off. And the reason why is there was a tiny bit of difference between this being on and not for it working. And if you look, works now. And the reason it works is let's take this off again. Well, that's the original connector there, so it still works fine with this. I put inside there on the perily bit that presses down a tiny, tiny drop of super glue. You can, it's hard to see. Proper a tiny, tiny drop of super glue. I let it dry, tried it, and every now and then it worked, but it didn't work perfectly. Put another tiny drop of super glue and let that dry. And now, as you can see there, put it back on. And it works absolutely perfectly. So 
So, I'll give you a quick demonstration to show how well it's still spraying, how good it is. My needle is not the greatest anymore. I did, I did kind of bend a little bit of the tip, but I did straighten it up a bit. Not perfect, but for what kind of we use we use them. I don't think it matters as much as what some people might say it should. It is the normal USB connector on the bottom for anybody who's watching it for the first time. A Type C charger. You can plug it into any of your normal phone chargers. We'll charge it up. Plug it into computer when you've got it fingered, charge it up, it's not a problem. So what I'll do is, I'll mix up a bit of Tamiya flat black with a bit of X20 and I'll show you spray me 0 0.3, how fine I get it, remember this is the airbrush that come with it, with the kit, and then I'll show you how fine I can get it with a 0 0.2. Doesn't sound a lot, but it can make quite a difference when you're trying to do camo schemes and stuff like that with it. Or you want to do really fine details, say you're uh, into painting with these, just you like doing pictures, art, how much of a difference a smaller airbrush needle can make. So I'll mix the paint up, I'll see you in a second. Right, got my paint mixed, a little bit of Tamiya Black as I said, so I'll put a little bit in this one. Don't need a lot because we're only going to be uh, doing a little bit of uh, spraying with it. Right. First off, blast a bit of paint through. And this is the 0 0.3, the one that you actually uh, get with a compress kit. And this is open full. And as you can see, if you wanted to spray a biggish kit, model tank. 148 scale aircraft, it covers quite a big area. Uh, you, can't, you can't knock it for its coverage, it's, it's spot on. But then again a 0 0.3 is one of the better sizes for all round. I find the 0 0.5 needled airbrushes, they're just too, too much coming out. Just crank that back, to, back a bit, that's it. And we'll take the needle cap off. So if you take the needle cap off you can always get a bit closer and here we go little dots that I, I do I'm so used to this one compared to my other airbrushes now and squiggly lines you can see how fine-ish you can get it couple of mil wide. The dots are quite nice but this like I say I mainly use for putting down big areas getting uh, like the main coats or the main camos done. The detail camos obviously it does do it it's not bad but we'll move over from that and we'll move over to the 0 0.2 now so you can see so I personally think you get a little bit smaller, nicer detail with it. Put that one on. Oh, that's it. Open her up a bit because she's a bit. bit more. That's better. Put a bit of the paint in. What we'll do, we'll open her up. That's it. She should spray well now. So this is it as if you were spraying a kit like what the other did with the 0 0.3. Oh, a bit spitty to start. Hang on, I don't think that's grabbing properly. Is that pulling the needle on that one? Yeah, it seems to be. I'll just take that needle cap off. No, that doesn't seem very good. One second. Try it underneath, see if that helps. Ah, yep, yeah, we're off, we're off, we're off, we're off. Right, so imagine I'm spraying an aircraft wing. As you can see, it does spray quite a bit, quite evenly. But the problem is, it's nowhere near like what that one did, as you can see. So, for say a 
172 scale you will probably say yeah it'd be fine that you're going to get a nice bit of coverage with it not over the top but if you were spraying say 135 scale model tanks or even especially like your 148 scale modern jets and that take quite a long time with spraying that wood but mainly we're using this as a detail well I use this as a detail airbrush so I'll clean the tip off these are the cheapo cotton pads you get brilliant for that so tiny deep dots and the lines you'll see there a lot 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 thinner I think up a bit more paint through with the speed so you've got there that's the 0 0.2 that's the 0 0.3 there's not a lot of difference in the dots they're a little bit smaller but that's why I like that one. It ain't for putting down main coats paint as that one, as you can see. Bigger area, better for blasting it evenly over it, rather than that 0 0.2. But for when you come to detail, lovely. So you've got two airbrushes set up ready to go where you can blast down some cracking detail with it. Now, I'm going to show you how you clean the other airbrush out this one is a pain to clean there's no fear on that, it does my head in it takes a lot more cleaning than what this one does but I'll get this one out now and we'll connect it back on and then I'll show you how you clean it right. first of all I've got one of these if you ain't got one of these and you, you spray your empty in your airbrush I'd recommend getting some old kitchen towels together in a bowl and blasting it into that these are brilliant because they've got this small filter and it helps to catch any spare air in it first off empty out any paint if there is any nope none left in that one what I then do is I get a piece of kitchen towel any paint inside there, give it a quick swirl round, grabs any that's spare, put your end into empty the airbrush, let's open it up full. You can hear the crackling noise, that means the airbrush is now blasting air through. And first off, this is Mr. Tool Cleaner, Mr. Hobby. Any kind of airbrush cleaner will do. Make sure you're using the right kind of cleaner though for uh, the paints. Like Miss, Miss, uh, Tammy R paint. Don't ever try and clean your airbrush out straight away with water. It takes, it turns the actual paint into like a sludge that blocks airbrushes. So I never try and clean it out first with anything like that. But if you're spraying Vallejo acrylic which are a water based paint. You can use water to clean your airbrush out. It, it just thins the paint down so it cleans it out. So, bubble the paint up. Spray it out. I must say, when you're bubbling paint and you think it, watch that needle. That needle will stab you without even thinking about it. So be very careful when you're doing anything like that. If you're don't want to risk hurting your fingers use the little uh, cloth thing that I've got right back over again a little bit more of that cleaner doesn't need a lot so put a bit more put a bit more and bubble that up just to get a blast through and blast that out I've now got this is just 
some uh, alcohol water and it says window light, window cleaner. It's just a normal glass cleaner I've got in it. It's no special, it's off the internet. Just shows you a little cheap airbrush cleaner. Blast that through. And that now, take a wipe out just to make sure there's no residue. Last couple of drops of the uh, Mr. Tool Cleaner just to make sure it's all out. We could go back to a little bit of cleaner again there. I'm probably overdoing this, but you'll see here I'll use this uh, little console. Lovely clear no paint. Ready to go with another colour for whatever you want to do. So we'll say you've done for day with it. You're not going to use it again. I always take the back off, undo, pull out the needle, and you can see there's the odd little bit on the needle. So I put a couple of drops. Onto my swab, and I just pull that over the needle. See, there's a little bit of paint to it. We're not talking an excessive amount, it probably won't make any difference. But to me, now that's completely clean needle, clean airbrush, back in she goes. Sometimes you just have to press that down a bit. There she is. Tighten it back up. Make sure there's no air in there. Uh, air, flipping out. Cleaner in her. And she's clean enough now, ready for the next session that you're going to do with her. That's, our, that's why I like this airbrush. The cleaning of it is exceedingly easy. It's a lovely airbrush for it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped you. If you've got a spare airbrush and you've got one of these, you're thinking about trying to get it to work. And if not, and you're looking for a port, uh, portable airbrush or battery one rather than the big corded one, then if this is out, uh, you decide to get one. In my view, well worth the money. From Amazon, I got that and it's been one of the best buys I've had in hobby. So thanks for watching, please subscribe and certainly give me a like if you would, that certainly helps the channel and I hope to see you around on next time.